fucking Cheerios were gone. I started to convulse. Oh shit. Them suckers was poisoned, I knew it. I probably had only like 10 minutes to live. So I crawled to the window With my last breath I was gonna do my greatest dream <laughs> I took that kitchen knife and slashed the shit out of the curtains <laughs> Freaking tore them off their rod! <laughs> and now the window was mine to access. My hams fisted the window until the lock was broken and I swung it open. The window was only quite small. But I knew, I knew That floor. My body slid gracefully through the pain, and I landed on my feet on the other side. And things was getting to be all right. I still convulsing it, shit. It's really hurting it. I was shaking like crazy. So I went to my treehouse. The treehouse I ran to. The bushes, they got all big. Looked real green. The sky was red and real mean. The clouds were forming these ghastly shapes. They looked like the slashed ass drapes. <laughs> All the trees look like they had no leaves, and the grass was all yellow. I ran along the stony path, trying to get away. I knew it was this way, but a driver. He pulled over right next to me. I was kind of thinking, oh shit, what the fuck's that? This can't be good. I better, I, shit, he's coming out his, he's coming out his door. He steps out with cowboy boots, they even got little spurs, I think they're a rattlesnake. His jeans look weathered and torn and dusty, as if he's a ragged workman. And his plaid shirt was outlined with his biceps and muscles. He stepped over to me and reached out. I had to shout. There was another car coming down the road. I feared that it would be my only hope. Open. 
two members wearing dark suits with ties of a glowing red that represented something of authority. They were the men of my dreams, and they were rescuing me. My dreams had come true, and I think they were convulsion-induced. And so now, they kick the shit out of that farm boy bitch. And he's laying on the ground, and they kick his ass into the ditch. He's so beaten and bruised, long time he'll be black and blue. He's <laughs> like, dream guys. Help me! Tell me stop! Convulsions! <laughs> they said, son. You just gotta go all the way back home. It's gonna take you a long ass time crawling with those convulsions. But I know you can make it. Leave. That coffee you had earlier should do you good. Go! We'll meet you there! For you see, we'll be getting into the air as fast as we can. It's gonna take us a day at least to retrieve what we need in order to save you from your convulsions. Stopped believing in his dreams. Ryan's like, what? <laughs>